חכמינו זכרון לברכה קם וסומני אקסטרודינרי מידוס. was so much, so many of them. But he asked, how could he become it? He was the most loving father, but he wanted to know how he could be a better listener. He was the most caring husband, but every book that was available and how to be a better husband, he acquired and read. And he was the most concerning friend, from the material to the spiritual, Every need a person had, had, he would ask, until the very end, would it help if I gave them a call? All the details, all the stories, all the memoirs, all the messages are recorded on emails in people's hearts. And also, there's the Sefer Zichron of Stiv Rehayamim, Vayim Nekrayim of Nehemelech. This also is the book that a person authors in being alive that's read before our Kaddish Baruch. And right now, as we speak of you, Rafael David Fido, they're also speaking your life, your work that you composed before the king. But of all the parshios of David Hyman's life, the one I want to speak about is the final parsha. The parsha we call the Tzadik Makabal Yisurim. The righteous person who accepts lovingly the great affliction. And here, David, he wrote so exquisitely, such beauty, such a profound mystery. David was the Ishtam, so simple, so pure, so straight. Every word of Torah that he learned became something. In these years, he became a tzaddik. From learning first of the illness and, and being determined not to fall to despair, despondency, to wallow in self-pity, to being besimcha, to being makabal upon him, Sefer Panem Yafos, and to cover each person with care, and to thirst of the drink of Torah, the, 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 the expression that came out of his mouth when he heard words of Torah is the expression people have when they taste something delicious. At some point when we were learning together, we learned about Yisurim, but it became very clear that he was really writing the Sefer. He was writing the book on how a person lovingly accepts Yisurim. From the simple to the very profound, to be matzlik the din, to saying Hashem is righteous, all the way to the most loftiest of levels of Kabbalah Yisurim b'Yahava, to accept Hashem's Yisurim to the person with love. And this is the parsha that we who are living have to absorb into ourselves. David was about amuna pshuta. He was about simple, simple amuna. And a person accepts the amuna of our mesora and then goes forward, becomes greater. This was who he was, and this was his message. Joe Reback told me that David Hyman had messages for every single person. And the message I got, he said, tell people that you once knew a person who experienced immense suffering but was happy through it all. Whenever David would speak of his wife, of Ruth, Ruth, he didn't have expression of which really to, to say how much he appreciated. He would say, how was I Zoha? And every time he would say it, his eyes would fill with tears. Everything he said, everything he was, he only was because of you. The living should take to the heart. Every person, 
to take to their heart to become a loving spouse, to become a person of great amuna. Therefore, Alberto, you raised a, a wonderful child, a great man. And to the daughters and to the family, that you really have the experience of living with a tzaddik. Such a special thing. You will treasure forever. And the memory will give you chizik. Bila mavas <laughs> l'nasach Hashem shed. Erase death. And we should be zochah to meet you with all of it. Tchiyas amesim. And the coming of Mashiach. Amen. Amen.